Okay. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to learn about the secrets of uh, the secret math formula uh, behind uh, the only thing that I don't like, uh, and some people don't seem to understand it because it's complicated math, so I'm going to need a chalkboard. The secret behind uh, D bag photography. Okay. So, our chalkboard. So, what is the secret behind D bag photography? Okay. Over here, we've got uh, big business. Big biz. Okay, right here in the center, we got the uh, innocent camera. And over here, we've got uh, this happy little pro shooter. You know, someone that's been shooting, uh, I don't know, four or five years. Uh, sometimes, you know, 20, 30 years. And, uh, you know, they, they, they spit out good work and uh, they've developed a reputation and a nice portfolio. And uh, what inevitably happens is that. Uh, they shoot all these weddings and they have all these bridezilla chicks that uh, you know they're always complaining because no matter how good their work is they've got they've got to complain and then you've got these demanding clients and it's like oh and you get a haul all this gear and have all this insurance and so what happens is you got a uh, pro shooter here you got a pro that is tired of BS okay and uh, this person is shooting Nikon okay but there's one problem with Nikon, and they stated out right on their website, is that Nikon, Nikon don't pay, and they don't sponsor. Nikon, no pay, and no sponsor. Okay, so that's an issue. So you got the pro shooter here, you got big business here, you got the innocent little camera over here, and so what happens is that the pro shooter goes, you know, I've got a reputation, and it is pretty good. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a powwow with big business that makes something else. You know, I'm happy with my gear, but I am going to talk with the big biz, and then I'm going to shake their hand, and then uh, I'm going to get to travel the world for free, and, uh, you know, get free gear, and uh, lots of exposure, and, uh, you know, it's kind of like a cakewalk. So now you've got the happy pro shooter here. And then you got big biz. So everything here is okay. Okay, so up to this point, we're doing okay. And uh, I've got no issue with anything here. So we got big biz, the pro shooter, we got the innocent little camera, you know, which has uh, never attacked anybody. No one's ever heard about a camera jumping up and attacking anybody. So everything is hunky dory. Um, except for the pro shooter. Now uh, the pro shooter is. Uh, teamed up and uh, kind of sold their soul and it's okay because I got to pay the bills you know I got no problem especially if someone's got kids they got to pay the bills so now we got big biz here and then now we have our happy pro shooter here and uh, he is known or she is known for uh, being a pro shooter it's like we were so happy so here we got a little uh, pro shooter and he's holding up a uh, the uh, latest little uh, POS, and it doesn't matter what he or she thinks of it. It's like, ah, oh, click, click, click. It's awesome. So now what we do is uh, where we enter the problem. And uh, this is where the problem starts. And so what happens is, is that you've got a person with a reputation here, and what you have down here are what I like to call the noobs. Okay, it means newbies or the people that are easily influenced. Uh, uh, they're uh, kind of uh, easy to get swayed. And why not? You know, you've got a pro shooter here, and you know maybe he or she's got some hair. Let's give them some hair and maybe a little mustache or whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So what happens is that the pro shooter starts talking, and uh, instead of uh, you know uh, telling the truth, uh, what happens is is that Big Biz has got these strings attached to the pro shooter because the pro shooter uh, he or she is tired of shooting weddings and uh, getting uh, smacked around by the man shall we say by uh, hauling uh, his or her gear around and uh, you know it's just no matter how good of a shooter you are it's uh, it's a pain in the crotch and uh, even the best shooters are like oh god this job I love this job but it sucks <laughs> so even the best photo shooting gig you know even New York Times or you know whoever you're shooting for you know, it gets old, it gets really tiring. So now the, the, the pro shooter is getting yanked uh, by Big Biz, 
And what happens is that uh, necessitatively it comes out of their mouth is the lies and BS. And then what happens down here is uh, develops is the cult of a fanboy. Cult of a fanboy. Cult of fanboys, which is a gender neutral term referring to boys and girls. You know, men and women. And uh, so they're looking at the pro shooter, but they can't see the strings. Kind of like the children there at the puppet shows. Like, oh, look at the puppets. Like, yeah, someone's got their hand up that puppet's fanny. And uh, so this is where the issue comes in. So what happens now is there is a giant pool of liquid that, that starts to develop uh, like a swirling vortex of nonsense. And I like to call it the vortex of... Kool-Aid, yes, there we go. And what it does is it, it kind of sweeps around, it starts starts out really small, and it gets really big, and, and then it just develops into this uh, self-moving force that uh, can't be stopped, because well, this person is a pro-shooter, and uh, we all know that pro-shooters can uh, do no wrong, because their portfolio is awesome, and uh, they themselves uh, have cred, and uh, they have a reputation, and that reputation is good, but uh, what happens now is that the cult of fanboys look at the pro shooter, and here's the pro shooter. The pro shooter's happy, and uh, you know he or she don't have to work so much and uh, get to travel around, and that's all good. Um, what's not the good part and the only bad part of this equation is what exists right here. Two different locations, right here and right here. These are the issues. kool aid them. The cult of fanboy and the lies and BS about you know something being awesome or something being that it's something that it's not, kind of like a, a little person wearing a giant uh, elevator shoes or uh, you know uh, a flat-chested chick that says she's all natural when she just got a thousand cc implants or uh, one of the Kardashians that uh, got their uh, lips uh, pumped up with the silicone filler or. Uh, you know, uh, the movie star that uh, has uh, had uh, 20 facelifts and uh, looks like they're 20 years old, but they're really 60 years old. So the only issue I have exists right within this zone right here. The lies, the BS, the Kool-Aid, and the cult of fan. How dare you attack this gentleman? Whatever this person is, a pro shooter, they've been shooting 20 years, and everything they make is awesome. And, uh, you know, everything other than this is okay. The motivation is logical. The reasoning is logical, and uh, the math here, although this wasn't exactly math, the math is irrefutable. It is a perfect equation that balances itself out, and uh, just like someone is able to see uh, several moves ahead in chess, uh, which of course that would be myself, uh, I can see this stuff, and uh, for some reason, for some reason, uh, the, uh, I'm gonna spell it with a K, the cult of... And boys can't see that. Cult of O V K U L T the cult of fanboys can't see that and uh, it's not a good thing. And uh, what happens is is that you take an awesome hobby or someone that's making a few bucks and you end up developing this uh sort of sadistic uh thing that doesn't resemble photography anymore but a bunch of uh, gadget them. Because um here we go. This is the uh, this is the cult of fanboydom. Here we go. And uh, see, the camera is innocent, and the pro shooter is innocent, and big business is innocent. But what happens is it's kind of like uh, you've got three different things that you could eat, but if you uh, mix them all together, then you end up with something that will kill you. <laughs> this is what, this is the equation that happens, and so that is the math. Um, on the uh, old uh, school chalkboard of uh, what defines a D-bag photography and the cult of fanboydom and uh, it is irrefutable and I only have issue with uh, that one small section of the equation not the rest of it so I hope I have uh, accurately defined uh, the parameters of my dissatisfaction regarding the cult of uh, fanboys because you should be happy in what you shoot and whatever you shoot is hunky dory and uh, you should make money and uh, you should be happy and uh, you should uh, get good lenses and gear and be happy with whatever you shoot 
but uh, I do not like people that blow smoke up another person's ass, either individually or collectively. I don't like Kool-Aid. I don't like uh, cults. I don't like uh, smoke blowing up my ass, and uh, I don't like uh, someone else yanking someone else's strings uh, for pure profit, even though everybody has to make a buck and survive and feed their kids and, you know, make their wife happy and all that jazz that is so typical of uh, empirical life. Thank you for watching. I hope I have clarified that definitionally <laughs> as I shook the camera. Bye.